what the Arab nations are doing right now. They're like, you know, Erdogan is coming out, all these Jordan, they're all coming out, the Saudis, Qatar, they're all coming out and they're like, horrific war crimes, you must be tried at the International Criminal Court, we must file a petition, a lawsuit at the International Criminal Court to try Benjamin Netanyahu and his genocidal forces at the International Criminal Court. So, you know, they're, they're just saying, it's a, it's a lot of talk, and what do they do? Do they step up to the table and say, if you blow up one more hospital, we're coming in with our military. If you blow up one more refugee camp, we're going to be entering this war. If you airstrike one more school, we're going to have to respond. No, what they do is they say, hey, 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 Israel, Israel, look, uh, if you could, let's pause on the civilian atrocities. I know there's 5,000 civilians dead. Pause on the civilian atrocities for four hours. These people you're bombing, they're hungry. We need to feed them a little bit. Let's give them some expired, you know, aid, some expired food, expired, you know, cliff bars or something. Let's give them some expired food, then go back to your bombing, okay? All right. Sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> That's all they do. They're like, they're like, okay, they're hungry. The the people, the reason why these people are suffering is because they're hungry, not because they're being bombed left and right, not because you have 5,000 dead children, 12,000 dead civilians. The real problem is, they, you know, they're just a little bit hungry. They're just a little hungry, that's all. So it's the same thing, really. But I think it's an even bigger slap in the face when it's the Arab nations who profess to care about this, profess to, you know, stand against the genocide and then really go along with it, still supply oil to Israel, lots of oil to Israel. And um, it's very sad.